Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and today we're doing another Shotgunner Pro Tip video. And today we're going to be talking about what's called a select slug drill. Now, in the video we did where we talked about the effective ranges of buckshot and talked about the A, B, and C zones, one of the things we identified is that there's a certain point at which uh, it's no longer useful to try to engage somebody with double lot buck because they're at such a distance away that the pattern is so large it could potentially miss the adversary altogether. For those distances, you need to think in terms of transitioning to a solid projectile and shooting the shotgun like a rifle. So for that, we do a thing called a select slug drill. There's a number of ways to do this, and I have seen some intensely complicated ways that people have come up with doing this. It's not that difficult, but there's just a couple of little principles that you need to understand. The first principle you need to understand is if we're, try if we're trying to introduce a piece of ammunition into the chamber of our shotgun, 99% of the time we do that by loading a round of ammunition or a shot shell into the magazine tube and then cycling the round into the chamber with the slide. There's only one occasion where you're going to load directly into the chamber and that's a port load for an emergency reload. That's where you drop a round in on a completely empty gun and cycle the slide forward and get a round down range. But for all other occasions, if we're going to put ammunition in the chamber, it goes into the magazine tube first. The second principle you need to bury into your mind is the concept of the last thing loaded is the first thing going into the chamber. That's the first one on deck. So when it comes to slugs, let's say I'm starting with a situation and I've got a Mossberg 500, my magazine tube is fully loaded, I have an empty chamber. So I go ahead and cycle the slide and I go to engage my adversary and I realize He's too far away. So what I'm going to need to do is now transition to a slug. I need to get a slug into the chamber. Now I know that since I just chambered around from a full magazine tube, I have four rounds in the tube. It'll take five. So I have a void created in the magazine tube that will accept a round. So at that point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a slug off of my side saddle, and I'm going to go ahead and load that into the magazine tube. Now, it's not in the chamber yet, and here's how you do that. Cycle your slide. It's going to get that piece of double up buck out of the chamber. It now loaded the slug in. I still have a void, so I'm going to load one more slug in. So at this point, I have two slugs on deck, and the rest are going to be double up buck. So I go ahead and engage, just like so. So that's two slugs down range, hopefully bad guy down, hopefully problem solved. Now. There's a second scenario that you could find yourself in. And let's say you went ahead and you started with a full magazine tube, you chambered around, and then you uh, were really good at what you're doing and you topped that gun off, okay? So now we have five in the chamber, one in the magazine. There are no voids to put a slug into the, into the weapon. So what I need to do now is create a void so that I can put a slug into the chamber and then run it from the chamber, or rather, I'm sorry, magazine tube. So I can put a slug in the magazine tube and then run it from the mag tube into the chamber. Hopefully that's clear. So full gun, I've got a full magazine tube, loaded chamber. What I'm going to do is this simple. I'm just simply going to cycle my slide, tosses a one useful double out buck round on the ground, but now I have a void. And from that void, I can load in one slug. At that point, I cycle again, empties that other double up buck round out. Now I have one slug in the chamber, and I still have yet another void that I can load another slug into. So at this point, now I'm up and I've got one slug in the chamber, one in the magazine tube, just like so. So with that, that's your select slug drill. You can make it as simple or as, as complicated as you want. I suggest going simple. That's the best way to approach all things. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.